words, his actions, his agonies, his glories, his powerful intellect and imagination, his mighty word word. It was all agreed that they all together make him a mighty figure of enduring importance. Uh, this novel is called The Castle in the Forest. And it's the story of Adolf Hitler's first 16 years of life as told by an assistant to the devil. At the time of this writing, at this point, Alois Hitler, the father, and Clara Horizo Hitler, the mother, had been married for a few years, and they had three children already. They all died within a few weeks of each other in a play of diphtheria in Austria. And now, the period now is, of course, Hitler was born in uh, 1889, and so this would be some time earlier, nine months earlier. But as I say, I'll begin with the sexual act, because it has a certain relevance to, come up to what comes later. And um, for those of you who are uncomfortable with such matters, I would suggest putting your fingers in your ears for about the first 60 seconds. <laughs> After that, it's perfectly safe to listen. <laughs> These days, he was with a frightened bird whose torso could scorch him, even if her thighs were as cold as a snowbank. She made love, yes, when he could actually get all the way into her. Not often. She was so much like bitches he had seen snarling and snapping at a male dog's genitals. Clara did not snarl or snap. She just jumped up on her altar alone always alone. She was so private that he wanted to put his mouth where she was most private, and then he could slip the hound into her mouth. He would show her where devotion was located. Yet, on this hot summer night, when he tried to open her closed legs, pushing harder than ever with the force of his arms, there came a moment when his breath overtook him, a startling pang. For one instant, he felt as if he had been felt by thunder. Was that his heart? Was he the next to die? Are you all right? She cried out as he lay beside her, his breath going in and out with a rasp that sounded terrible. All right, yes, no, he said. Then she was on him. She did not know if this would resuscitate him or end him. But Clara, Clara turned head to foot and put her most unmentionable part down on his hard breathing nose and mouth and took his old battering ram into her lips. Uncle was now as soft as a coil of excrement. She sucked on him nonetheless with an avidity that could come only from the evil one, that she knew. From there the impulse had come. But now they both had their heads at the wrong end and the evil one was there. He had never been so close before. The hound began to come to life, right in her mouth. It surprised her. And Lois had been so limp tonight, but now he was a man again. His mouth lathered with her sap. He turned around and embraced her face with all the passion of his own lips and face, ready at last to grind into her with the hound drive into her piety, yes, damn all, <clears throat> oh, damn all piety, thought Alice. damn church mouse wife, damn church. He was back from the dead, some kind of miracle. He was all there, his pride equal to a sword. This was better than a storm at sea. And then it went beyond such a moment, for she, the most angelic woman in Brahma, knew she was giving herself over to the devil, Yes, she knew he was there, there with Alois and herself, all three loose in the geyser that came out of him, and then out of her, now, together, and I was there with them. I was the third presence, and was carried into the caterwauling of all three of us going over the falls together, Alois and myself, filling the womb of Clara, Porzel, Hitler, and indeed, 
I knew the moment when creation occurred. Even as the angel Gabriel served Jehovah on a momentous night in Nazareth, so too was I there with the evil one at this conception on this July night, nine months and ten days before Adolf Hitler would be born on April 20th, 1889. Yes, I was there, an officer of rank in the finest intelligence service that has ever existed.